So this video will discuss problem number two from the 2023 AP Stats exam. This was the question from 2023 that dealt with experimental design. So the problem is talking about a developer that is trying to decide whether or not adding fibers to concrete used when building driveways is going to reduce the severity of cracking. Uh, the developer conducts a completely randomized experiment, 60 new homes that need driveways. 30 of the driveways are going to get the concrete with the fibers. The other 30 are going to receive concrete that does not contain them. After one year, they're going to go back and look at the driveways and try to rank the severity of the cracks on a scale of 0 to 10. 0, no cracks. 10, severely cracked. So this first part here is pretty typical of a lot of the experimental design problems found within FRQ sets. Just asks us to identify a few different things happening within this particular scenario. And so what are the experimental units? Now, this is pretty interesting because I didn't initially have my response for that as 60 homes that need new driveways. And I'll, I'll kind of talk about why I came back and changed it to that. I originally had it as 60 driveways. But then something that I was thinking about in the next part of this caused me to kind of recognize that I probably should come back and make an adjustment. So I'll, I'll try to come back and, and try to elaborate on why I think that the experimental unit should be 60 homes that need new driveways and not just the 60 driveways. As far as the treatments go, we have 30 of the homes that are going to get concrete with added fibers. The other 30 are going to get concrete with no added fibers. And then the variable that we're trying to measure, the response variable, is going to be how severe the cracking of the driveways is after one year measured on a scale of 0 to 10. When I did part B, that's what caused me to go back and change my experimental units decision for part A. So it says, describe an appropriate method the developer could use to randomly assign concrete that contains fibers and concrete that does not contain fibers to all 60 driveways. So I, I realized right away that the, the houses don't yet have driveways. So when I'm trying to decide which house is going to receive what type of driveway, I realized I should label the houses from 1 to 60 and not necessarily the driveways from 1 through 60, which caused me to come back to this and, and realize, well, what's being prescribed these treatments are the 60 homes. The driveways are being built certain ways, but the homes are the things that are being pr prescribed the treatments. And me recognizing how I had to index the uh, experimental units caused me to realize the experimental units were actually the houses that need the driveways and not the driveways themselves. So I have a pretty, pretty frequently used response for this randomization decision. So I said, we're going to write the numbers 1 through 60 on pieces of paper, place the paper in a box. If you do this and you don't say that you're mixing them up, you're shuffling, that's going to be a flaw. Uh, if you say that, if you don't say that you're not looking as you draw these, that's going to be a little bit of a flaw. And you have to make sure that you are not allowing these houses, in this case, to be selected more than once. So there's no replacement happening. So the 30 houses that get their numbers drawn are going to receive the driveways with the concrete fibers. Uh, and then the other 30 are not going to receive that treatment. You could do this with random number generator. You could do this with... Uh, I guess a flip of a coin until you've identified 30 houses that are going to receive one of the types of driveways and 30 that are going to receive the other. So there are a variety of ways that you can do this successfully, especially if you're doing what I've done, throwing all of the numbers into a hat, throwing them into a box, shuffling, not looking without replacement are definitely things that cannot be omitted from your description for randomization. This last part here says that the developer finds there is a statistically significant reduction in the mean severity of cracks in driveways using the concrete that contains the fibers compared to driveways using concrete that does not contain the fibers. Part C says in terms of this conclusion, what is the benefit of randomly assigning driveways to either the concrete that contains fibers or the concrete that does not contain fibers? So in most situations like this, you want to talk about the advantage of what has the advantage and why the alternative, there's a little bit of a flaw or a disadvantage. So make sure you talk about both sides of the design. So I was thinking about what could be the flaw in not 
having randomization. So let's say that all 60 of these houses are in this new development and one end of the development is at a higher elevation than the other end of the development. Well, obviously that the houses at the higher elevation are going to have probably better drainage. So maybe if they had just given all the concrete with fibers to the houses at the higher elevation, the drainage is what caused those driveways to show less cracking and not necessarily that the concrete had added fibers. So without randomization, you could have all of the concrete with fibers assigned to houses with a certain characteristic that also aids in less cracking where it wasn't really the fibers that were do, it, doing the job. So I basically have paraphrased what I've gone through here. When you have random assignment, you're gonna have houses at the higher elevation and houses at the lower elevation receiving the concrete with fibers and the concrete uh, without the fibers. So it would take that confounding variable out of play in the completely randomized design where that wouldn't necessarily be happening if you lacked that randomization for the assignment of treatments.